Weddings can be incredibly stressful, not just for the bride and groom, but also for those working the event. Today I'm gonna to help relieve some of that stress by showing you five different methods to get better audio for your wedding films. Let's start at the beginning of the day, bride and groom prep. This is the part of the day where everyone is getting dressed and last minute details are all getting worked out and discussed. Getting those candid moments can add a lot of heart to your wedding film. The best way to capture that audio is by using a premium on-camera microphone. By premium on-camera microphone, I mean one that allows you actually to boost the sound and add low cuts. On-camera microphones at weddings are the primary source of almost all audio. A wedding is no place for a passive microphone because the last thing you want to do is dive into menus in the middle of a frantic period. Another way to add heart to your film is to record the vows during bride and groom prep. The best way to do this is pull the subject away from everyone and have them write like a note or read and practice their vows as they look off camera. Don't be afraid to direct them during these moments. Remember, everything about a wedding is scripted, so why don't you help play director every now and then and get the parts that you need for your wedding film. Long gone are the days of wedding photographers and wedding videographers just being flies on the wall. Get active in the wedding party and really help make this a creative event. During the ceremony, there are three different things you can do to ensure you're gonna get the best audio. The first tip is placing a lav on the groom and the officiant. Never in my history of ever doing a wedding was I ever successful at putting a lav on the bride, so don't even bother. When I place a lav though, I like to put it on the left hand side. This places it one foot closer to the bride, and thus I'm gonna pick up her audio much better. It also, when we turn toward each other, it puts it one foot further away from the officiant, helping to get better isolated audio between the two different lobs. When placing a lob on the lapel though, I like to place it underneath the flower. This way it doesn't bust the shots for the photographer or for yourself. The next tip is you can actually get audio from taking a feed from the PA or a loop through feed from a speaker. I always carry a healthy supply of various adapters because you never know what kind of outputs you're gonna be dealing with. The secret here is to make sure the board has a tape output. The tape output is a line level output that typically is RCA. I've never once seen the tape out output actually ever be used. And that means it's always gonna be open for our purposes, which is tapping the PA board and trying to get a nice clean feed. This will be able to capture all the different kinds of speeches, poems, and any kind of readings that may happen, along with any music that's played back from a CD player from the PA system. The last thing you need to do is always bring a couple of drop recorders that you can plant around the ceremony. If there's an instrument that's being played, they may not actually be piping that through the PA system, because sometimes the instrument player will bring either their own PA system, or it's loud enough that everyone at the venue can hear it, so they're not gonna mic it up at all. So that drop recorder, you just leave it right at the foot of the instrument, hit record, and just go and pick it up and retrieve it after the ceremony is done. Now you've got the audio and you can just sync it up later in post. If you're gonna go around and getting well wishes from the guest and the family members, use a dynamic microphone. A dynamic microphone is less sensitive, so if I'm holding it, it's only gonna get me. It's not gonna get a lot of the background music from the DJ or other people shouting in the background. And there you have it, my five tips to get better audio for your next wedding film. Use a premium on-camera microphone, lob up the groom and the officiant during the ceremony, tap the board for a better feed, use drop recorders whenever you can, and don't forget to use a dynamic microphone when you're interviewing people and asking them questions at the reception. Hey, if you like our content here, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe and the follow and the notify and all the major social media platforms out there. Leave a comment below and tell us what you wanna see us make next. The best comment is gonna win the VMic D3 Pro, perfect for your next wedding. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones, thank you for watching.